nightmare narrative here. Today, we will be watching five found footage clips that are genuine with the creepy stories accompanying them. These videos are graphic in nature and may leave you feeling uncomfortable. I have scoured the endless fake footage videos on YouTube to bring you five real found footage videos. The first video was filmed by a man in the early 1990s as he was lost in the catacombs of Paris. The catacombs are a vast city sprawling maze that spans nearly 200 miles. Historians estimate that these tunnels contain the bones of more than 6 million dead. The scary part is, there are dozens of known cases of people disappearing into the catacombs never to be seen again. The main cause of disappearance is the anxiety and confusion that someone could have inside the dark tunnels where inexperienced travelers can easily become lost. As is the case for the tragic soul of this video, the camera was found by an anonymous group of illicit tomb explorers and made its way to multiple TV networks in the 2000s. This particular clip was aired on ABC Family for their Halloween special. The director of the special, Francis Friedland, claimed to have found the whereabouts of some of these locations where there are strange markings on the walls. Friedland believes it's possible that the man found something he wasn't supposed to find and was chased because of it. Did the man have extreme anxiety and panic from being lost in the tunnels? Or was someone or something chasing him? Let me know in the comments down below. It's very bizarre. These arrows point in a direction. Occasionally, also, he stops to photograph roomfuls of bones, which means that he's very, very deep inside the catacombs. So basically, he's filming what he's seeing very deep inside the catacombs, other than the point of view shots or pictures of human bones. The catacombs for centuries. So it is possible with these paintings uh, that we may be able to retrace the itinerary to some extent. After about four, we hear his breathing get louder and louder, uh, as though something was scaring him. He was, he's, he's frightened, he's frightened. Occasionally he stops, perhaps, to try to decide which way to run among all the many different corridors. He's running faster and faster and faster, deeper and deeper into the catacombs. And all of a sudden... In 2014, a film crew in Savannah, Georgia on their first day of filming for Midnight Rider, an ill-fated movie about Greg Allman of the Allman Brothers Band, was struck by a CSX train traveling 53 miles per hour, killing one of the crew members, Sarah Jones, and injuring six others. According to the case files, CSX, the train company, blamed the entire crash on the filmmakers. Officials had twice sent production managers emails denying them permission to shoot on the bridge. Production managers never told the crew that they were in fact trespassing. Actor William Hurt, hired to play Allman, had been lying in the bed before the train came upon the crew at 53 miles per hour. While attempting to escape, flying shrapnel from the bed injured six crew while the train ran over Sarah Jones. CSX paid $3.9 million to the family of Sarah Jones, while the film's director served a year in jail after pleading guilty to involuntary manslaughter and criminal trespassing charges. Here is the clip in its entirety.
A Japanese TV crew went to an abandoned hospital where people have claimed to see apparitions of doctors and patients who died there. This is the footage they captured. <laughs> ここ、ほこりっぽいような August 10, 1984, a Cessna L-19E carrying two passengers failed to reach its destination. They were traveling from Granby to Denver, Colorado. The plane was found on the slope of a tree-covered ridge. A video was found in the wreckage three years later by hikers who saw the tape hung in the trees. After analyzing the tape, experts believe that the ski slopes produced a severe downdraft which caused the plane to lose lift. The altitude, temperature, and humidity combined to create the density of 13,000 feet when the aircraft was actually at 10,000 feet. The density altitude made it impossible for the aircraft to pull up. At the end of the video, you can hear the pilot yell for his passenger Ronnie to April 16, 2014, off the coast of South Korea, the ferry called the Sea Wall tilted and sank, drowning 299 passengers, two rescue divers, and five emergency workers. Most notably were the 250 students from Dan Wan High School. While making a turn in the channel, the ship listed too far to the right and fell on its side. The intercom system asked for passengers to stay put, alleging that any movement was dangerous, even as water began to fill the cabins. Meanwhile, those on the top deck as well as the captain and crew had already abandoned ship. It took two and a half hours for the ship to sink, so during that time, the students heard on the announcements, Do not move, just stay where you are. It's dangerous if you move, so just stay where you are. This video was taken by a 16-year-old student. It chronicles how the students took the situation lightheartedly, even making titanic jokes. Then, as it became more and more dire, they began recording messages for their loved ones. All of these students that you see drowned, and all the life vests did was make them float inside the cabin. 
The cell phone was recovered and returned to the grieving father, who released the footage to the media as evidence of the crime the crew committed of allowing those kids to die. The captain and three crew were charged with murder, and 11 other crew charged for abandoning the ship. The captain received a life sentence, crew received 10 years, and the owner of the shipping company was found dead in a field.